innovation isn't always overt and visible, but it does need to deliver on impact. And I think this is a great example. For me, innovation has three key ingredients. It's, it's conviction, trusted partners, and time. In 2012, we began a journey to change um, interchange design for Australia. And we, wrote, we started the introduction of the first diverging diamond interchange, also known as the DDI. A DDI is a type of diamond interchange where we, we break the norm by manoeuvring the traffic to the opposite sides of the bridge or the carriageway in order to remove conflict points. We just needed the conviction, the right time, and the partner to realise this Australian first. We planted the seed for this innovation with our client for the Department of Main Roads, TMR, uh, back in 2012 on a high profile project. While the DDI uh, didn't stick and it wasn't selected, it certainly sparked interest and showed that we wanted to push the boundaries of conventional design. Fast forward eight years, when the Bruce Highway, Kalina Road to Sunshine Motorway project came along, we knew this was the perfect opportunity to put this innovation back on the table. Through our Global Skills Network, we were connected to Gilbert Schlawicki from ATS American, who's based in Washington, DC, and also recognized for creating the DDI concept. We invited Gil for a speaking tour across Australia, talking to our state government highway clients um, about the concept and the success stories from the 60 plus interchanges that were operational at that time in the US. During this tour across Australia, we paid particular attention to Queensland and TMR, where knowledge of the DDI concept existed and we had a trusted relationship. During the project, we were in a joint venture with Jacobs. And we took a delegation from the um, project team and visited the US to see firsthand the new concept in action and develop a detailed understanding of the DDI, the design, its construction, and how it would operate. So the DDI was opened in December 2020, and a year on, we're already starting to see improvements in travel time, it improves operational performance, it, it reduces delays, reduces queuing, and just as importantly, it removes those um, high-risk conflict points that cause our uh, crashes and, and road trauma. Choosing this design led to fewer materials and infrastructure being used to build the interchange. And this saw a significant reduction of impact on the adjacent forest, which had significant value to the local community and indigenous groups. As you drive through that interchange, the average road user would have no idea where this conversation started um, back in 2012 and to where it is now. We are aware of other DDIs that are hopefully soon going to be on the network as well. There's one um, in under construction and others in planning and design. Yeah.